Hey, what's up, guys? Devil Dog Gamer here, bringing you another Marine Corps Mondays. And today is a sad day for me, I must say, because if you didn't know, I'm a Ravens fan, and they lost. Yep, Cundiff missed a field goal, but whatever. I had my little cry about it, so I'm done. But anyways, I've been getting a lot of questions about boot camp, and you know, I thought it was about time to, you know, record a commentary for one of my Marine Corps Mondays where I talk about what I think people should do to prepare better for the for boot camp because it is kind of a shock to the system and I know this gameplay in the start I do camp it, camp it up quite hardcore in the beginning I know I just wanted some kill streaks so damn bad but um anyways boot camp you know it's it's kind of one of these things you can't really prepare for but there are some things you know that I wish somebody would have told me I had to do or um, you know focus on a little more actually like you know attempt a little bit before I went because it would have made things a little bit more easy um, you know not really easy but go smoother I should say all right so my little first tip is everyone a lot of people are worried about running and you know they say oh I'm not a good runner or you know I can't run that far or you know I'm not that strong or I'm overweight don't worry about the running the running is you're gonna build on it everybody sucks when they start I, I sucked when I ran and I, I could do you know under 20 minute three miles after that um, everybody sucks the thing is if you're gonna practice don't sit there and say I'm gonna run three miles don't do that this is this is what you need to do you need to do it for time say I'm gonna run for 30 minutes and you run the same pace for 30 minutes don't stop thing is a lot of the running is it's not solo running. You're running with your with your you know platoon and everything. So you're only running as fast as the fastest as the slowest person. So you're not really gonna be busting out three miles in, you know, nineteen minutes. You're gonna be running three miles in, you know, thirty five minutes, forty minutes, who knows? So the thing is if you practice running for a longer period of time it's going to be easier for you because the people who can run these, you know, three miles or whatnot, you know, ridiculously fast times, they've never really ran that for that long. So they have a hard time, you know, keeping up or, you know, towards the end, they have a long, you know, hard time. So my advice is just sit there and say, I'm going to run for 30 minutes and just run for that, dis that amount of time. Don't worry about distance. Don't worry about that. PT test is easy. You'll have no problems with it once you get to that point. The other thing. Next tip, standing still. I had a hard time learning how to stand still. I'm kind of one of those fidgety people, and there's a lot of people who are like that. And the other problem is a lot of people don't, don't know that you're not supposed to lock your knees when you're standing, standing up straight. And when you're standing at attention, it's, you know, it's real easy to lock your knees up. The problem with that is it cuts your blood flow. So if you're not careful, you're going to pass out. So one of the things is learning how to stand still, not look around, not fidget, and keep your knees, you know, unlocked. And it is kind of a hard thing to do, and it's kind of silly saying, you know, for me telling people to practice. You may, you may seem like, oh, you know, that's kind of a waste of time. Do it, because it's going to save you some problems in the future. Because if you're pretty, you get pretty, you know, locked on about standing still, not locking your knees, you're not going to get screwed with it. The person who sits there and fidgets around or, you know, turns their head or looks around, those are going to be the guys that are going to get grabbed off the line and you're going to be getting fucked with, taken out to the pit and screwed. So, trust me, just learn how to stand still and you'll be A-OK. -okay. The next thing, you guys are going to laugh at this one, but everyone had a problem with this. Learning how to hold your piss for an extended period of time and actually learning how to take a piss quickly with a bunch of people standing around you. Now, you may be like, why the fuck is that so important? Well, you don't get bathroom breaks every 10 seconds. You're, you're going to be going hours before bathroom breaks. In the morning, you may not get one when you first wake up, and everybody's got to piss in the morning. So, learning how to hold it and just to kind of ignore it is a key, key, key thing. Because you're going to end up pissing your pants. And everybody pisses their pants at one point in time in there. There's no shame to it. I did it a few times. There are plenty of guys I saw sit there and piss their pants in PT. Everybody does it. Don't be worried about it. Whatever. Just be, don't be the guy who shits his pants. Don't, don't be that guy. But the other thing I say about quickly and around a bunch of people is they have these, their bathrooms are set up like troughs. Like you're feeding cattle or something. 
Well, everybody's running in there, and there's not many of them. And you got probably, what, 60, 80 people all going at the same time. And you got drill instructors yelling and screaming at you, counting down 30 seconds, and you're trying to, you're squeezing in between people trying to take a piss. Now, for me, I had a bit of a problem with that, because I'll, I'll admit it, I'm a little bit bladder shy. I was, at least. So I had a big problem with, you know, I'm sitting there trying to squeeze in around guys, some guys yelling at me, and I'm trying to take a piss. Oh, man. There were plenty of times where, you know, I just had, I couldn't go, and, you know, there are a lot of people like me who couldn't go and do stuff like that. So that's one of those deals. It's, I don't really know how to tell you how to get over that. It's just one of those things that you might want to work on because it's definitely going to save you some embarrassment, you know, some stress because you're not going to be sitting there. Oh, yeah, here, this part, I go and wreck some people in this part. Oh, yeah, look at that. Mow them down. Mow them down. Bulldozing the dirt pile. Look at that. Oh, there's more. Oh, look at them all. Look at them all. Oh, rape. Yeah, those FG-49s or whatever the hell they're called, they're so overpowered. Anyways, my next thing is boot camp is hard. It's not physically challenging. It's mentally. So there's a there were a lot of people who were really really strong. You know, couldn't wouldn't have had problems doing a lot of this stuff, but they failed because they gave up and they didn't push themselves. And you don't fail in boot camp. You you can't fail it. If you're one of those guys who are like I give up and just quit, you are gonna get fucked with the entire time you're there. So there's no point, no point of quitting because it's not going to do anything. So, my, what, what, I, you know, one of my suggestions is kind of to get yourself into that mindset that there is no failure. Failure isn't an option for you at all. No matter what, no matter how hard it hurts, how tired you are, how pissed off you are, you'll do it. You'll do it. You'll accomplish whatever they throw at you, and you know you're only there for three months. That's the way you got to look at it. Go, go meal by meal. You wake up in the morning, eat your breakfast, go, okay, all I got to do is make it to lunch. I got to make it to lunch. Don't even think about, you know, the rest of the time you're there, how many weeks you have left. Don't even count it by that. Do it meal to meal. So I got to, you know, make it to lunch. You make it to lunch? All right, let me make it to dinner. Let me make it to dinner. You get done with dinner? All right, let me make it till we, uh, you know, hit the rack. That's all I got to do. And just keep doing it like that. Don't be thinking about the time you're there or anything like that because it's going to fuck with you. And you're constantly, constantly, constantly just going to be, you know, down in the dumps about it. Oh, I want to quit, you know. So just get yourself in the mindset that, you know, there is no failure. Yeah, 47-4, pretty good round. I know I camped it up a little bit, but whatever. You got to do what you got to do. All right, guys. Thanks for uh, listening to my Marine Corps Mondays. Keep those questions coming. And uh, make sure you pass on the word. All right, peace.